Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So it is officially two full weeks without my computer. Let's recap. Uh, two weeks ago, Saturday morning, I came downstairs to do things. The computer was misbehaving. Ultimately, it would not boot up. And I take it to the local repair shop. I chose not to go to the Apple store for lots of different reasons. Um, but the predominant reason is because is I couldn't get a, an appointment um, early in the day. So I knew if I got a late day appointment, they wouldn't be able to do anything that day. Probably couldn't order any parts if they needed it. So I took it to Micro Center. And, you know, against my better judgment, I chose to do this. Nevertheless, took it to Micro Center, stood in line for 30 minutes, even though I had an appointment. <laughs> Uh, I dropped it off. They basically said they call me by 5 at 4.56 p.m. They called. Basically said that uh, they took it apart. There's no diagnostics lights. They needed to order a power supply. And I said, don't you have a desktop power supply you can test it with? And they said, no, that these iMac Pros are rare beasts. And they didn't stock any of the parts because everything's very expensive. Uh, okay. Okay. They order the part. The part ordering gets delayed by Apple for one reason or another, and the part doesn't come in until I think Wednesday or Thursday of the next week. Of course, they plug in the new power supply and it doesn't change the outcome. Kind of predicted the future on that one. So they order a new motherboard. The guy calls me a few days later and says, uh, Hey, do you have everything backed up? Because, you know, when we put in a new motherboard, uh, a new logic board, as they call it, a new logic board. They will probably have to, you know, update the BIOS. And when they update the BIOS, it'll delete everything on my hard drive. And I literally said to the guy, I'm like, I don't know why updating BIOS would do anything to the hard drive. Uh, most importantly, because when you're in BIOS, you know, the, hi the hard drive is not actually used, you know, as a computer engineer. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, that's the process we have to follow. And you'll see this trend here over and over and over again. Um, two things. Uh, two things. Uh, it's the process we have to follow. And we don't see these very often and they're really expensive. So therefore, that's why all this is taking longer than it needs to. Uh, fast forward a few days. Uh, Logic Board comes in and I get a phone call. Uh, and I say, hey... Uh, you know, how's it going? He's like, well, you know, I'm having trouble uh, getting the computer to power on. <laughs> Interesting. He's like, well, you know, you can't power on the computer until the logic board is tied to the serial number. Now, look, just between you and me, to tie the logic board to the serial number implies to me that you would have to turn the computer on to do so. So he kept saying this over and over again over a period of a couple of days. Uh, I can't get the computer to turn on until I tie the serial number to the logic board. Finally, uh, earlier this week, he was able to... Um, <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. Let me, re let me roll back. Earlier this week, uh, it was suggested by one of his co-workers that maybe the power supply was bad. You know, the brand new power supply that he ordered, you know, a week beforehand. Uh, so he orders a new power supply. They overnight it. Uh, the first overnighting, by the way, took four days, and the second overnighting took two days. This overnight actually took one day, you know, like legitimate overnighting. Um, and the new power supply worked. He was able to turn on the computer and uh, configure the, the system controller, which is where we currently are. Let's see, it is Saturday. It is the third Saturday without the computer, two full weeks. Um, they've had it apart for two full weeks, and he's still getting errors trying to configure the system controller. I called Apple last night and basically said, hey, WTF, right? And, and so Apple calls the store, Apple calls back and says, yeah, they're making great progress. Um, all they have to do is configure the system controller. And I'm like, yes, I know. That's what he's been saying for three days. Well, we've escalated it to engineering, and I'm sure engineering will solve the problem. Now, 
This is where the wheels come off the bus for me and I start to get super aggravated. I was already aggravated because it's been two weeks. I have a $5,000 computer that's not being fixed properly. Um, and at this point, I even said to both Micro Center and Apple, I was like, why don't you just replace the damn thing, right? Uh, because you screw around with the power supply, you screw around with the motherboard, you're telling me that you're gonna delete everything on my hard drive, just give me a new computer, right? At this point, I don't want the old computer back because it's been dorked up for such a long time and dorked with in so many different ways. I have no idea what I'm gonna get back. Um, and I have very little faith that the thing is gonna to continue to operate properly, certainly for as long as this laptop has. So uh, where we stand today, Apple won't replace the computer until they have engineering get involved. Um, the checklists that the tech has been following um, have not been working out. I don't know why we need to escalate a simple repair to engineering. Um, the tech keeps telling me it's all because of the T2 chip and the encryption and blah, 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 blah. And he obviously has no clue uh, what my background is, but, you know, I know a little something about computers. And yes, I, I can understand the, the concept of the private key and the TPM and whatever, whatever. It doesn't change the fact that I'm aggravated by the situation. Um, I got a little... Uh, testy with him on the phone last night basically saying um, you know it's been two weeks what the hell and he actually had told me a couple days beforehand and reiterated it again last night that um, once um, if it takes more than a few days for them to fix it uh, they actually according to him start losing money on the deal uh, that if if it's on their desk quote for more than two business days um, they are taking a loss it's been on their desk for 10 business days, um, <clears throat> five times longer than I guess what they wanted on their desk. Um, but I really kind of lost my shit on them when he said, well, if we can't get it to work, we might have to send it to a depot to get it repaired. And that's when I really kind of lost it. Um, I'm like, you freaking tell me you've had this thing for two weeks and you're gonna send it somewhere else and they're gonna do a better job. Again, just replace the damn thing. There's only three parts on this computer other than the shell, right? The power supply, the logic board, and the monitor. I, what else are they going to do, right? Um, so this is my, my vlog. This is my rant. This is the inexplicable world that we live in. Um, predominantly, I think, due to Apple repairs. Um, I've done a little poking around on the interwebs about this, and, and I'm not saying it's unique to Apple, but in this case, uh, a lot of this dorkiness is because of Apple. And I've been a lifelong Apple person. Um, I'm not a, you know, a fanboy per se, but I just like the products they've heretofore <laughs> been completely solid and, and, and reliable. So I'm making this. So... I skipped a video last week rather than rant again, but I'm making this video just to post something uh, and let people know where we are in the story. I, I'm continuing to try and limp along with this computer. Um, it look The computer is fine itself. The problem is, is I, I completely reset it and blew away everything that was on it when I got the new computer with the intentions of, of giving it back to Apple and getting a rebate, um, which I did. I sent it into them. And they said they were going to give me $384 back for it, which I thought was a pretty good deal for a you know $2,500 computer that's seven years old. Um, they got it. They looked at it. They claimed that there was a dent in one of the corners, and therefore they were only going to give me $70 for it. And I looked at it, and indeed there is a dent. It is a nick, not a dent, in uh, one corner that doesn't impede the ability of this thing to work at all. Otherwise, it is in pristine condition because it is... I don't really carry it around a lot. Uh, it sits here on the desk. I travel with it. but um, So, yeah, I was super pissed off, so I said, send it back. I'll keep it if you're only going to give me 70 bucks for it, right? And good thing I did. Um, but so now I have no software on here. I'm recording this on QuickTime. Um, you can tell by the lights that, look, I'm blue. <laughs> I can't color grade any of this um, and a variety of other things. I do have my microphone and the hardware and the camera, but anyway... Um, I'm rambling. That's the rant. <sighs> Look, I can't even control the focus of the camera. It's been a banner two weeks. Uh, but more importantly, I'm very concerned now that um, I got a new NAS. I don't want to futz with the new NAS until I restore from the old NAS. Um, 
I want to, I'm concerned that I won't be able to restore my files and that would really, really super aggravate me. Um, like super aggravate me <laughs> 20 some years worth of data, most of which I still use. All right. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Thank you. If you got this far, I do apologize. It is a rant uh, to a certain extent, but, uh, this is kind of a word of the wise, if you will. Um, if you're getting your computer repaired, even if it's under manufacturer, original manufacturer warranty, and you have Apple Care, in this case, Apple Care Plus, it doesn't really change the outcome a whole lot, as near as I can tell. So I'm disappointed in Apple. Um, I'm disappointed in the universe right now, but it's all okay. We'll get through this. When I get it back, I will report back. Again, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, thumb up, thumb it up, um, ring the bell, subscribe, check me out on Instagram. Um, I'm posting on Instagram. I've got a bunch of projects in the queue right now. I bought a bunch of new memory cards um, for my camera um, so I can continue recording and not have a place to put it. So, all right, that's where we are. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Out here.